Hey everybody, Katrina here with Gal Gone Camping and I need to do a little uh, a correction video. <laughs> uh, I forgot something. If y'all watched my last video was my um, favorite things, favorite products of 2022. Um, I had six listed. Well, I didn't even realize it until it was all where <laughs> the video was already uploaded, but I had just, uh, it, it just showed five. And um, I think what happened, um, if you watched it during the segment where I was showing the, the dishes, uh, I dropped them and uh, they did not break. So they're, they're excellent, excellent dishes to have in your camper. But um, so somehow or another, I thought that that was, that section got turned off or whatever and didn't record. Uh, it did. And it was in it was in another little clip, and I I somehow did not add it um, on to the other video. But anyway, uh, so the correction um, when I was showing the the uh, the dishes, these were dishes that came out of my camper, and I was telling you uh, that they're excellent, lightweight. You know, and they have this this is one of them. It comes in a set of four. It was from LTD Commodities or Lakeside Collection, their sister company, one or the other. You can find them online. But it had that little um, rustic uh, edging on the on, on the edge here. And it came in four different colors. And I was showing them on the video. I called it, y'all. I called them Marilite. I don't know. What is Marilite? But this is called, and I'm sure y'all probably knew what I meant, I hope. But it's melamine. Uh, you know, this is um, the non-breakable, uh, unless you run over it with a truck or something. But, I mean, if you drop these, they don't break. Uh, but this is melamine um, dishware and um love these but anyway just wanted to correct that it's not marimite marilite what is marilite i don't know is that a thing that should be something anyway it's melamine dishes y'all um the other thing one of the other favorite products that i uh, listed on that video was this damsel in distress uh flashlight and i showed you how you know it has it has the uh uh two brightnesses you know regular uh, it has well, it has two two brights, and then it has the um, like the just the circular motion there, kind of like a beacon. And then you know, I, I showed you that it also had the alarm, uh, and that thing is loud, you guys. But you remember I showed you this right here. I, I don't know if I even knew that. I don't know. I'm sure I must have used this before or knew it was on here. But when I was looking at it, when I was doing this video telling you all about it i thought this was just um because i couldn't see where it come on anywhere and i thought at first it was another light but I, then i thought well no that's just a reflector you know like a at night time it would reflect or whatever like glow in the dark kind of thing no you all look i hope you can see that on the video this is a red and it's on both sides of this flashlight it is a bright red you probably can't see it in the daylight like this uh where i'm outside but it is a bright red flashing light that would be excellent, you know, in an emergency. Uh, I'd use like kind of like a, a flare situation on the road, being broke down or whatever. So, um, just wanted to update you on that. I don't know how I missed that. I really don't. <laughs> I miss a lot, apparently. Anyway, just wanted to um, do those couple updates. So, those are two excellent products. But, the one thing here, then it's... I, it's gonna it's gonna go right in from this introductory video where i'm updating you guys <laughs> into the item that i left off of the favorite things item number six was the um collapsible vinyl fold-up tub uh, that i'm using as a bathtub um slash shower basin and it is excellent. So that's what uh, is the next little clip is going to be is talking about that. But somehow or another, I left it out of the original video. And I wanted to um, just share that with you. Just to update you. Because if you're looking at the description in the original video, you see there's six items. But there's only five that I'm showing on the video. So that was the one that was left out. And um, that, I believe that's one of my favorites. That's one of my favorites. And I talk in that how I used it. I hadn't been able to test it when I first got it, but I got a really, really good super test on it uh, just this past month. So, anyway, you'll see that in just a moment. And to update you on the mouse situation, you know, I got a mouse, a mouse in this minivan. I set a trap. Um, it did not, did not catch it. They're clever little 
beings. They're clever little creatures. And I hate to have to even trap them. They're so cute. But, you know, you can't let them destroy your stuff. Um, still see evidence in here where they've gotten into a tissue paper or whatever. But I'm going to set another trap. And um, so I'm in the process of trying to deal with that situation. Because I'm going to be taking this minivan micro camper out pretty soon. And I don't want to be sleeping with my... Uh, that close you know i don't know where they're at you know i've noticed before when i have had the uh, and y'all may have run into this too but if you have your cabin filters uh replaced um i saw one time i had it replaced um you could tell a mouse had been in there because there was like paper and stuff in there so i'm gonna have to do that i've got to clean that out or have it checked and haven't probably have a new uh filter put in that but that little cabin filter is in your um uh, in, in this minivan this is a dodge grand caravan and it is in the uh passenger door uh down at the bottom little compartment there and that's your cabin filter so if you haven't checked that you might want to and if you have a mouse problem that might be where they be where it is i don't know i figure mine's e either in that or it's in the uh, one of the stow and go uh, well sections um of course i've got all the seats uh stowed away so it's probably in there or in that cabin filter i don't know uh compartment but check that out if y'all have had any mice issues and again um i don't know what's the best way to get rid of a mouse in a vehicle anybody anybody got any um success had any success with that let me know so i think i'm gonna set another trap um you know in a different location i've moved this one trap around from back in the the back you know right in the middle section of the van where i had seen some paper they had had on uh, on the floor um, then I moved it to the front section and still nothing. So I don't know. I'm going to have to set another one and see what happens. But anyway, just want to update you guys with the, the item that I left off and the, uh, the corrections on the, uh, the other two items on the previous video. So anyway, um, another beautiful day out here today, but you guys, but it is cold today. It's certainly a lot colder than it was the day I shot this video a few days ago. It's like, gosh, it only got it. Well, it's supposed to get up to. I think it's saying 48 here, but my goodness, we had uh, temperatures down in the teens last night, but cold, but pretty. I can handle it better if the sun shines, so Check thank the Lord. Right. Also, and then I, this is probably my favorite thing, and I, I did purchase this in uh, this past year in 2022, and um, I didn't get a chance to test it uh, this past year, but I, <laughs> I had a great opportunity to test it out at home uh in Jan this this month and it, it worked fantastic but this is a you can see this this is a collapsible tub you guys and this is the small i got this on amazon it is a collapsible fold up vinyl tub and this is uh, i guess meant for well you can use it in so many things I mean, I'm gonna bath. I'm gonna use it to bath the dogs. You know, you can set this outside, bath the dogs. It has a um, drain here, where when you're finished, you know, if you're outside, you can just tip it over and that drains out. Or, you know, what I'm gonna probably do because I'm gonna use some use this in some different situations, and you could also put a hose here, a flexible hose, and just let that drain out if you don't want to uh, drain it. You know just right out like you know just right wherever you're at if you want it to flow over the hill or something like that uh you could put a little flexible hose there but you guys this thing is awesome and they have a large they have a large and this folds up um i won't do it exactly get it down as small as it gets but when you fold they fold up the bottom and all these sides and it, it is very compact i could actually uh fold this up and it goes into a five gallon bucket so what happened was <laughs> when i did get to test this i was initially going to test it with the band when i first got it and then the weather got crazy and everything and um which i i can't wait to use this with the band set up but um i had a hot water issue and my hot water heater uh messed up the heating elements went out of it and um I, it, I was without hot water for about three weeks uh, in, my, in my house. And um, so um, what I did was I got a five-gallon bucket. I bought, I just got a clean five-gallon bucket, 
brand new and um, just heated up the water on the stove mixed it with some with some cool water uh, cold water to get the right temperature anyway I took this little collapsible bathtub <laughs> and I put it in my bath I just put out a big old beach towel huge, one of my biggest towels I've got laid it on the floor um, put this tub out and um, put the five gallon bucket right beside of it and another product that I did put on last year's list um, or 2021's favorite things at the end of the year uh, it was a uh, submergible pump shower um, that is awesome I mean it is awesome <clears throat> so so I had my heated water up put that bucket right beside of this tub put my submergible shower uh, head with the pump right down in the in the five gallon bucket of water and you know I just sit there I put a little bit of water uh, before I got in uh, just to get some water in there and I sat down and um, I had a little bath and shower <laughs> combo right there going on y'all it was awesome and i mean it, it worked out great i used it several times until my hot water heater could get fixed and so i just sat right there and the bucket was right there i had my my soap my shampoo and everything and i sit there and lathered up and um just wrenched over and you know i had my spray nozzle my little shower right there and it was great it worked out great um so once again, these are great for, you know, bathing the dogs outside or, you know, you could even put, if you have a small child, you know, be something for them to play in, splash around in the water. If you have a toddler or whatever, um, it'd be great even to bath, you know, if you need to, to bath a small child, um, you know, I mean, it just, uh, this is great though, because an adult, it's not, it's not, you don't have a lot of room <laughs> in the small, you know. You don't have a lot of room, but um, it's plenty to do. It's absolutely plenty to do, and you can also stand up in this. So, um, what I'm going to do uh, when I do it with the um, with the um, uh, what I wanted to test with the band set up is uh, using it as you know we were standing up and you have a shower curtain around you. I'm going to do that, uh, but you could also uh, have enough. Um, you could have enough room. Um, make enough room I could make enough room in this van and I, I would have room to do that in the van it would be a little crowded and probably not as good of a system but you know it's absolutely doable if you had to I mean if you had to and you know you're not going to use this kind of a, a system unless you're out in the middle of nowhere really if you're at a campground or whatever you're probably going to use their facilities but you absolutely could use this if you wanted to and um so that was awesome and i can't wait to try it i cannot wait to try it in the van um and you guys as far as portable showers goes i've got another thing that i can't wait to show you i can't wait to test it and i'm ex super excited about that there's there's another system that i'm looking at maybe getting later on down the road and even use it for an off-grid thing at, at home because i love the off-grid stuff i love that stuff and I'm thinking about getting that later down the road. Um, if y'all have seen that, it's pretty awesome. It's called the um, Jewel, Jewel Coal, Jewel Coal, whatever. It's a portable um, hot water hot, hot water tank um, with the pump and everything and the faucet, like a sink faucet and a shower head and everything. Um, and that's something I might look at later. But I've got something else that I'm going to try and I'm super excited about that that We'll see what happens with that. All right, you guys. Remember, um, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. I'm going to have more stuff coming out uh, more frequently, I hope. Um, and uh, we'll be posting another uh, blog on the website pretty soon. And um, like, share, and comment if you would. And be sure and subscribe. We're going to have a lot of fun, y'all. 2023 is going to be an awesome year. I'm thinking positive and uh, moving forward. And, you know. It's going to be a good year, so come along with the gal, and uh, let's have fun together. Let's have some fun and adventure this year. All right, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and remember, don't wait to live. See you down the road.